I'm Andrew Dennis from Brookdale, Manitoba. I farm about 2,000 acres. Farming for me is uh, it's uh, it's a way of life. It's family. It's also a business. I mean, obviously, anybody that sticks with farming, as long as I have the business side of it, it's very important. It provides income for my family, and it provides food for the world. And I'm very passionate about it, and so is my family. We always have been. That's why uh, this particular issue is very, very important. It's a national institution we're dealing with here. We're working together with an entity that is providing us with value and giving back all that value. It's not going to shareholders. It's not getting withheld. Uh, we, we know what the value is and uh, we end up with it in our pockets and we can redistribute that through our own businesses and through our communities. The Harbour government is not providing farmers with any explanation of how chopping the Canadian wheat board would be good for farmers. I think a lot of people are going to lose their farms over this. I don't think there's any doubt about it. It is a uh, municipal issue, it's a community issue, and it's a wallet issue for every Canadian, not only farmers. So I think they have to get involved and use their voice. Their voice is their biggest tool. Get on a phone and make sure people are very aware that you're very concerned about this because even for urban people, this is going to be that two or three hundred dollars a month food price increase that uh, could be pretty harmful as this moves corporate. And uh, everybody knows through the fuel industry, the guy with control sets the price and that's what's going to happen here. And it's happening uh, now, but this is going to accelerate it and it's going to be beyond repair. They're going to ramshackle this through as fast as they possibly can because it's only, the only way they could win it. They couldn't go to the farmers and ask them whether uh, they wanted to get rid of it because they know what the answer is. The answer is no damn way we're keeping our Canadian wheat board. They've got to do it in a sneaky way and uh, they're working awfully hard to do that. And uh, that's uh, very alarming in the uh, democratic society that we live in.